Good day. Welcome to another chemistry session. Today we will be looking at the topic balancing complex redox reaction. <clears throat> Introduction. You have learned about reduction and oxidation in some previous lesson. Objective. At the end of this lesson, the student will be able to balance redox reaction involving oxidizing agent in alkaline or acidic medium describe the step involved in balancing complex reaction three to state the order of balancing in both acidic and basic medium now balancing complex redox reaction in acidic medium the word acidic means that there is presence of hydrogen ion most oxidizing agents work best in acidic medium hence Hydrogen ion must be added in order to balance the equation. An example is given below. Ion 2 plus manganese MnO4 minus to give ion 3 plus Mn2 plus. In this case, we are asked to balance in acidic medium. Step 1. Divide the equation into two half cell reactions. The first one now will now be ion 2 to ion 3. The oxidation number for ion 2 is plus 2 and for ion 3 is plus 3. Now, for the second equation, half equation, it will be MnO4 to Mn2+. The oxidation number of manganese will be from plus 7 and on the reactant side, it is plus 2. Then we will see that both equations are not balanced atomically and ionically. Now, step 2 now. Balance the two equations molecularly and ionically. Now, for ion 2 going to ion 3, since we have one, one atoms each, so we have for one atom of ion on the reactant side and one atom of ion on the product side. Now, the oxidation number is plus 2 and for ion 3 is plus 3. So, we need to add electron minus to balance it up so that the net charge will now be plus 2 on the reactant side and plus 2 on the product side. Now, in the case of equation 2, which is MnO4 minus to Mn2 plus. Now, we found out here that there is no oxygen on the product side. So, we need to account for the oxygen here because permanganate is an oxidizing agent. And also to account for the oxygen on the reactant side, we introduce hydrogen ion. Thus, this equation becomes MnO4 minus plus H plus to give us Mn2 plus plus water. And so this becomes our equation 4. Then we balance both atomically and ionically. Therefore, we are now going to have MnO4 minus plus 8 moles of H plus to give us Mn2 plus, that is 1 mole of Mn2 plus plus four moles of water and so when you consider the oxidation number oxidation number on the reactant side the net charge there will be plus seven why because mno4 is minus one and eight hydrogen ion is plus eight so minus one plus eight will give us plus seven and on the product side we have mn2 plus plus four molecules of water so for mn2 plus is two plus and for water is zero and on the, on the reactant side is plus two. So we see that this one is not balanced ionically, but atomically balanced. So to balance it ionically, we add five electrons to the reactant side in order to balance to the smallest charge, which is plus two. Then equation four will then become MnO4 minus plus eight hydrogen ion plus five electrons to give us mn2 plus plus four molecules of water so when you consider the oxidation number for mno4 is minus one for eight for eight hydrogen ion is plus eight and the five electron minus is minus five then on the product side we have mn2 plus is plus two and for the four hydrogen for the four water molecules is zero and so you find out that for the reactant side it is plus two and for the product side, it is plus two. So both reactions are now balanced atomically 
and molecularly. So we'll stop there. Thank you. I'll see you again. Now, welcome back. Now, we continue where we stopped. We stopped at step two. Now, we go to step three now. Now, in step three, we'll match the equation to cancel out the electrons. Now, since we are looking for a balanced redox reaction, we match the two equations together, that is equation three and five, but the electrons are not the same. The electron is made same by multiplying equation three by five and equation five by one. And so equation three then becomes five, that is F2, Fe2 plus two, Fe3 plus plus E minus, multiply all by five. And equation five, you multiply by one, which is MnO4 minus plus eight hydro, uh, hydrogen ion plus five electron minus to give us Mn2 plus plus four molecules of water. You multiply that by one. Thus, the two equations then becomes 5 ion 2 to 5 ion 3 plus 5 electrons and MnO4 minus plus 8 hydrogen ion plus 5 electron minus to give us Mn2 plus plus 4 moles of water. Matching this together, we now have 5 Fe2, Fe2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus 8 hydrogen ion to give us 5 m 5 fe3 plus plus mn2 plus plus 4 moles of water plus 5 electrons now since the two electrons since the two five electrons are on are on both sides that is the reactant and the product side so they cancel out so the uh, the net oxidation number or the oxi or the net charge for both the reactant side and on the product side will be plus 17 now for the reactant side, we are going to have plus 10, minus 1, plus 8. That gives us plus 17. And on the product side, we have plus 15, plus 2, and plus 0. And that gives us plus 17. Therefore, the balance equation in acidic medium thus becomes 5 ion 2 plus plus MnO4 minus plus 8 hydrogen ion to give us 5 Fe3 plus plus Mn2 plus plus 4 moles of water. Note, it is not all the time that the hydrogen ion will be on the reactant side. Sometimes it will be on the product side. For example, if you have to balance SO2 plus ion 3 plus to give F Fe2 plus SO42 minus. Following the steps outlined above, we have Fe3 to Fe2. So the oxidation number is plus 3 on the reactant side and plus 2 on the product side. Balance equation becomes Fe3 plus plus electron minus plus to give us Fe2 plus. So for the other equation, it will be SO2 to SO42 minus. Here, you will find out that oxygen atoms increases from two atoms on the reactant side to four atoms on the product side. Hydrogen ions cannot be responsible for it here. Water contains oxygen. Therefore, water, that is H2O, is added in this case, and hydrogen ion balance on the product side. Thus, we have SO2 plus H2O to give us SO42 minus plus hydrogen ion. By balancing it atomically, we have SO2 gas plus two hydrogen plus two molecules of water to give us SO42 minus plus four hydrogen ion. Oxidation number wise. Now, SO2 we have zero. Water we also have zero. That is two times zero. Then SO42 minus we have minus two and four hydrogen ions we have four times plus one. So the net charge will now be zero on the reactant side and minus two plus four on the product side. Balance the charge to the smallest value, which is zero. So you are now going to have that. So you are now going to, so in order to eliminate the el electron, we make sure that it balances at both sides. So we multiply the ion equation by two and that of the SO2 equation by one, thus giving us two molecules of ion three plus two electron minus to give us 
two molecules of ion, two ion. Now, SO2 still remains the same. Therefore, the balance equation thus become two ion three plus SO2 plus two moles of water to give us two moles of ion two plus one mole of SO4 two minus plus four hydrogen ion. The net charge on both sides becomes plus six. Hence, the balance equation is what we are having. Thank you. I will see you again. Welcome back to the final session. Now here we want to see how we can balance in alkaline medium. Now to balance in alkaline medium, there are two ways. One, by balancing from a balanced equation in acidic medium or by balancing directly using OH- to either side where applicable and balance with water. Now the first one, we take from acidic medium. Now in acidic medium, from acidic medium, we have add the same number of moles of OH- as that of hydrogen plus, uh, plus present in either side of the reaction, e.g. from the two given balanced equation where we have ion, 5 moles of ion 2 plus MnO4- minus plus 8 hydrogen ion to give us 5 moles of um, ion 3 plus Mn2 plus plus 4 moles of water so we now have thus in alkaline medium for that will now be five moles of ion 2 plus mno4 plus eight hydrogen ion plus eight oh minus to give five ion 3 ion plus mn2 plus plus four h2o plus 8OH minus. So we add 8OH minus to both sides. Now, since hydrogen ion and OH minus will give water, therefore 8 hydrogen ion plus plus 8OH minus to give us 8 hydrogen ion. So the equation becomes 5 moles of ion 2 plus 5 plus manganate ion, that is MnO4 minus, plus 8 moles of water to give 5, five ion 3 plus 1 mole of ion 2, I mean manganate 2 plus, plus 4 hydrogen, uh, plus 4 moles of water, plus 8 OH minus. Now, find the net number of moles of water on both sides. So, you now have that you are having more of the water on the reactant side and so the number of moles of water will be on the reactant side therefore having a balanced equation as five moles of ion 2 plus one mole of mno4 minus plus four moles of water to give us five moles of ion 3 plus one mole of mn2 plus plus eight moles of of, of oh Minus. And so by the time you look at the net charge, you'll find out that plus 9 on the reactant side and plus 9 on the product side. Likewise to the second equation as well. Likewise to the second balance equation from acidic mineral, which is 2 Fe3 plus SO2 plus 2 H2O to give us 2, M, 2 ion 2 plus SO4 2 minus plus 4 moles of hydrogen ion. So we add 4 moles of OH minus to both sides. And so by adding it to the both to both sides, so what are we going? So we are now going to have Fe3 plus SO4 2 plus SO2 plus 2 moles of water plus 4 OH minus to give us 2 ion 2 ion plus SO4 2 minus plus 4 moles of water so we net out the water and the balanced equation becomes 2 fe3 plus plus so2 plus 4 oh minus to give us 2 f fe2 plus plus so4 2 minus plus 2 moles of water number two now balancing direct with oh you can balance by that by adding oh directly 
to either reactant or product side where applicable. Now, if you are adding OH on the reactant side, you add water to the product side. If you are adding water to the product to the reactant side, you add OH on the reactant side. In a nutshell, balancing of complex redox reaction is summarized below. Now, if if hydrogen ion is added to the reactant side, water balances it on the product side. If it is water on the reactant side, hydrogen balances it on the product side. That is for acidic medium. In the case of basic medium, you have OH on the reactant side, water on the product side, water on the reactant side, OH minus on the reactant side. Now, I want you to try this balance this equation mno4 minus plus so3 2 minus to give so4 2 minus plus mn2 plus i'll take it again mno4 minus plus so3 2 minus to give so4 2 minus plus mn2 plus in basic medium thank you i'll see you again make sure you are safe and god bless you